Hello, what we're looking at here is a UTP CAT5 cable. But before we go into the detail of this cable, let's look at Ethernet. We've looked at the video and we've come to the realization that Ethernet was standardized after 1973 when Bob McAuliffe and his buddy um, invented it up at the University of Hawaii. Uh, actually, it was invented in Palo Alto, California, but the initial work was done at the University of Hawaii, where it was based on a packet switch network called Aloha. So, this cable that you see in front of you, the two ends, when you look at them, are wired differently. So, the one on the left-hand side, you see that the white orange is to the extreme on one side, and the other end is the white orange is in the beginning. This is known as a crossover cable. And a crossover cable, the transmit and the receive are switched over. Now, this cable is rarely used today because the devices are capable of flipping the transmit and receive on their own. Now, when you look at the... Oh, so this is the one end of this CAT5 UTP straight through cable and as you would expect the two ends are identical in nature. So this is the cable that you will see predominantly in the workforce today. Now the cable so you have transmit on one side and receive on the other end. These types of optical fiber duplex connections will take you up to 40 gigabit per second and even beyond because optical fiber, as we know, is capable of... And we have the network connection. So this network connection is the one where the Ethernet connector would go into. Okay, so these are really the types of devices that you would see in the workforce. And here is the optical connector, which would be used for connecting one of those optical fiber cables that we looked at. Okay, thank you. Bye now.